There are many occasions where we really want to emphasise or communicate more strongly what we want to say. So, Tim, can you come here a minute? Yeah, sure. Hello. So, what are we doing? Right. Now, as you're not coming to my party this Friday... But I am coming to your party. Sorry? I am coming to your party. OK. So, pronunciation makes all the difference. Tim emphasised the am coming instead of saying, I'm coming to your party. Because I am coming to the party. OK. Thanks. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I do want to come. OK. So, here, Tim emphasised do. So, if the sentence doesn't already have an auxiliary verb, we add do. And this stresses the fact that he really likes my parties. Mm, it's true. I do like them. OK. So, let's practice a little bit more. Why don't we try contradicting everything I say? OK. Let's go. OK. So, we didn't invite you to the party because we know you don't like pizza. But I do like pizza. And if you came, I don't think there's enough room in my house. But there is enough room. But you never called to say you were coming. But I did call. OK. So also, as well as contradicting what someone says, we also use the emphatic do to talk about something we feel strongly about. For example, Tim, you do need a haircut. Are you serious? Yeah. And also we use it in conditionals. So if Tim does come to the party, he should learn some new jokes. My jokes are great. What are you talking about? OK, yeah. Thanks, thanks Tim. Now, we also use this, the emphatic do, with imperatives. For example, do stop doing that. It comes across more strongly. And Tim, do come to the party. OK, I will then. Great. But if I do come, you have to buy me a drink. Absolutely. Thanks. Okay.